guys uh, welcome back to my uh, channel uh, first off i would like to say thank you to all of you who showed me so much of love who subscribed to my channel and uh, i'm sure that you guys are going to continue doing the same so uh, today's recipe is uh, very simple as well it's a fish recipe and uh, me being a goan i love fish so much so i thought of uh, sharing a fish recipe for all of my fellow goans and this recipe being so simple i believe anyone would be able to do it so uh, thank you once again for uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, i hope that you guys uh, continue showing me the love that you guys are showing me and supporting me as well so uh, for the recipe uh, please continue watching okay so first we need to start by cleaning the mac Uh, clean them and keep them aside. Okay, so let's move on to the next step now. Uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, put your mackerels in another boiling pot wherein you have to add uh, half a teaspoon of uh, salt. Then you need to add about um, I would say half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Okay. then in this you need to add about 2 um, tablespoon of uh, vinegar then you need to add about uh, i would say 5 to 6 cloves okay and then in the same mixture you need to add about 1 cup of water not more than that because uh, you don't need it to be like too watery um yeah that's it and then you need to keep it for boiling for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes okay guys so this is how our uh, macros look like once they have been boiled so you need to just cool them up and then uh, shred them so uh, now that our macros have been boiled and have been kept aside for cooling we can move on to the next stage to prepare the masala so for this you would require a few more ingredients so that is about um, 16 peppercorns you would require about uh, 12 uh, cloves you would require about 1 uh, and a half inch of cinnamon stick you would require about um, i would say quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder we're using quarter teaspoon here because we had used a uh, half teaspoon earlier when we were boiling uh, the macros we would also require about a uh, quarter teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds we would also require about uh, two chilies if in case you prefer spicy you can add another chili but i prefer mild so we are using only two chilies here uh, i would also require about 1 uh, inch of uh, ginger and um, i would also require about uh, 12 garlic cloves if you see my garlic cloves are quite big in case if you have smaller garlic cloves i would say to add about 3 or 4 more So now that you have all the ingredients what you need to do is uh, blend it into a mixer blender for a very fine paste. So I just wanted to show you the paste uh, once it's ready. This is how the consistency has to look like. Uh, make sure that it's not uh, too liquidy and this is how we need it to be and uh, we should use this later in the marination process of the cutlets. Uh, well yes, I did forget to mention one thing how I made the masala. I didn't use water instead I used uh, vinegar. Um, I used uh, malt vinegar, which is this one, about uh, four, four tablespoons of malt vinegar. You can also uh, substitute it with white vinegar. It's one and the same. And this is what I had in my kitchen, so that's what I used. Um, and yeah, so let's get on to the next step. Now. So guys, here you can see that I've shredded my mackerel. That's how it looks like. I used about uh, four mackerels. There were four large mackerels, and that's the quantity which it gave. me so what you would require now is you would require about two large onions and then that's your paste and then um like a coriander i would say like about uh, four tablespoons of coriander and about which you're going to mix everything together in so the first stage what you would need is you put all your onions in in this bowl okay and then you would uh, need to put your paste in it and then you would you put your mackerel 
and your fresh coriander and an egg and then mix everything together after you've done with all the mixing this is how it has to look like so what we need to do next is now we need to get on to making the cutlets and then frying it here i'm using uh, breadcrumbs you can also use a uh, semolina but uh, i prefer breadcrumbs because the crust comes uh, much crunchier that's what i feel but it's one of your preference here you can see how uh, the cutlet looks like once you have coated it with the breadcrumbs and now we have to get onto the fry so there you have it guys uh, that's the finished recipe that's how it looks like i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you try it so you can put some uh, ketchup on it as well this is how I like it also, so a little bit. Yeah, there you have it. Okay, so prepare this recipe and uh, try it with your friends, family and your dear and your ones. And uh, thank you once again and please do like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, ciao!